Fatma Ait Kuchaf does what many generations of Berbers have done before her, weave carpets. She started weaving carpets as a child and years later founded the Tajnacht Carpet Cooperative. When girls are three years old, they see their mothers or sisters weave carpets, and that helped many of these girls learn to weave carpets quickly. We don't do any training or courses. We learn this craft instinctively, because it's our job. All the girls here work on carpets in all the houses in this region. She uses pomegranate and natural herbs like rosemary to color the wool, which she then turns into handcrafted masterpieces. The patterns on the Berber rugs reflect the cultures of different villages, with a distinct beauty on every loop. When weaving, we use several drawings that express our culture. There are original drawings that we cannot change, but over time, we've created new drawings to develop and reinvigorate the Berber carpet. But at the same time, we maintain its authenticity. The art is also a source of income for many households. But Fatma says for all their effort, they don't get the money they deserve. The market opens once a week, on Wednesdays, and this is our only chance to sell the carpets that we make. The president of the Agency of the Handicraft of Tagjnak says they work to ensure that all cooperatives are treated fairly. We organize cooperatives, we help to create new cooperatives, and we facilitate the establishment procedures. Despite all the difficulties, Berbers from the tiny town of Tajnak stick to their tradition. They say it is not just about making a living, but also a way to tell their stories and histories to the world. Chelsea Carter, TRT World.